One of the things that I'm asked kind of frequently is what is um, kind of in and what's out? Like what are the trends? And one of the popular trends that I'm seeing is ceremonies in the round and I love that. What a ceremony in the round is, is when the bride and groom are in the middle and they're on some kind of a platform, a uh, round platform, a square platform, doesn't really matter. And then the chairs are, um, make a circle around in various rows, however many rows you need, depending on the guest count. What is nice about the ceremony in the round is that it puts the bride and groom front and center. And no matter where you're sitting as a guest, you have perfect viewing angle. Sometimes you really want to hear them exchange those vows. You can see perfectly, you can hear perfectly, and it's really, really intimate. It's a really special thing. So I'm seeing it a lot more lately and I love it. Um, we're seeing a lot of 60s mod, you know, kind of Mad Men inspired color schemes and wardrobes. Weddings with color schemes that are kind of like blacks and whites and grays and yellows. And not only are we seeing them at weddings, but we're also seeing them with engagement sessions. A lot of couples are kind of opting for a Mad Men inspired engagement session. So they'll go to nightclubs or bars or that kind of a place that has a 60s theme and then they'll get dressed up in their 60s suits and their 60s dresses. Vintage is still very in, you know, like the shabby chic, lots of lace, lots of bringing back old things, especially if you can go into your grandmother's chest, for example, and wear her veil or um, put on display wedding dresses from grandparents and on both sides of the family and, and your parents and things like that. So it's pretty popular. I mean, it started kind of last year, maybe the year before, and I think we're still going to see it again this year. But what we're also seeing a lot, and it's hard for me to kind of define this one, but I would kind of describe it as like a down homey kind of thing where it's very DIY, um, very kind of inspired by just good old fashioned fun, like good times. So having like down home punch served in mason jars, using burlap, old tea boxes or um, old hat boxes or anything that they can find, going to antique shops and things like that and, and using different things. And what that ultimately achieves is having every table look different. Um, and kind of in keeping with that theme, you could actually take it a step further, which is to alternate, to have two completely different table setups, different linens, different centerpieces, completely separate look. Still something that looks good. They have to complement each other, but it can be a completely different look. I think it's a fantastic opportunity for clients to be able to really express their personalities. And as far as what's out, um, Things like the the garter toss, for example. We're not seeing them as much. I would even say like 50, 50% 50 of the weddings that we do, the bride and groom elect to either do or not do a garter toss. Another thing that we are not seeing as often is the send off where they would have some choreographed event like the guests are holding sparklers or throwing confetti or blowing bubbles and the couple runs through them and it's an official sending the bride and groom off for their wedding night and saying goodbye to them and, and that's it. The bride and groom get into a vehicle, go off and that's the end of the evening. But I, we're seeing a lot of brides that really want to stay until the very, very end and party with their guests and just have a really good time. So a lot of personal style and a lot of spending time with their guests are two things that we're, we're really seeing in this upcoming season.